whether you are selling a product or a service, objections are great. What? You mean if I propose to my girlfriend and she says no and she gives me all these objections is great? Well, no, not really. But it's still better than her telling you 10 years from now. What, you mean if I meet a client and I'm trying to sell a product and I get a lot of objections, it's great? Well, yes, because the alternative is that the customer keeps quiet, your prospect keeps quiet, says nothing, and then doesn't buy. Or even worse still, if the customer doesn't say anything, but then asks you to follow up. And you keep following up and keep following up and keep following up and nothing happens. That's even worse. So yes, objections are great. Whether you're getting it from your boss, whether you're getting it from your colleague, whether you're getting it while you're doing sales, or whether you're getting it from your girlfriend. And I'm going to tell you the five reasons why objections are fantastic. Number one, it means that your prospect is actively interested. If your boss gives you an objection, that means he's interested. If your girlfriend gives you an objection, it means she's interested. If your customer tells you he's worried about something, that means he is interested. He cares enough because people who don't care won't ask questions. I'll take an example. If you don't care anything about computers, you walk to, into a computer shop, someone tries to sell you computers, would you ask them questions? Would you, you know, whatever he tells you, and it has 16 gig of RAM, would you say anything back? Chances are, you won't. You won't even bother giving them objections. So, objections are great because number one, it means that your prospect, or whoever it is you're trying to convince, is actively interested. Number two, it means people are being honest and direct to you. If you get objections, it means people are being honest and direct. Now, people who are not honest and direct to you, they beat around the bush, they tell you to call back and they allow you to follow up with them for an entire year and still not tell you the truth. Look, if let's say I'm trying to sell someone something, I would really appreciate if the person is very honest with me. Give me their objections or just tell me no, rather than me following up for the entire year. So, objections are great because number two, it means people are being honest and direct and we need to appreciate that. Objections are great, number three, because it allows you to have a better understanding of the person in front of you. If the person in front of you doesn't say anything, you cannot understand what they're thinking. So, if someone gives you feedback, it's great. If, let's say, this person doesn't give you objections or feedback and doesn't tell you his worries or concerns, you are never going to know what he's thinking about. Never. Because there are some people out there who, well, they'd rather not offend you. Whether it is your salesperson, your colleague, or, or a subordinate, this person rather not offend you, and so they rather not give you objections. And if these people do that, if they stay silent, if they don't give you objections, it means that you will not have a good understanding of these people. So, number four, why objections are great is because it's an opportunity to turn a negative perception into a positive one. That's right. It's an opportunity for you to take a negative association and turn it into positive. And, you know, perceptions are, you know, people get perceptions about everything. Um, people have perceptions about everything. People have perceptions about this mouse. People have perceptions about uh, this pen and everything. And they can get their perceptions from their friends, from the environment, from uh, a lot of things. And it, people can generalize like, and say something like, um, all TVs are the same, no need to buy expensive one. Or, you know, all salesmen are crooks. Now, when someone gives you an objection, you have an opportunity to turn what they think into something positive. 
So it's an opportunity for you to educate a customer. It's an opportunity for you to educate your colleague or your boss. It's also an opportunity for you to transfer confidence to your customer. So objections are great because number one, your prospect is actively engaged. Number two, it means he's honest and direct. Number three, it allows you to have a better understanding of them. Number four, it's an opportunity to turn a negative perception into a positive one. And number five, and this is the good one. Number five, the reason why objections are so great is because very few people can actually handle them well. And a lot of salespeople, what they do to prospects is like telling them, what you think like that, you're wrong. It's actually like this. And you know what? Customers hate being wrong. Most people don't know how to handle objections properly. And that is not a topic for today. It is something that I'll share with you on future videos, in other videos. So relish objections, welcome them, be happy about them. Because when you get them, you can be assured that you are meeting your customer's every need.